Hi, this is Randy Zajac, technical advisor at Gujan Brothers. What I'm working on today is repairing a leaking aluminum boat. It was previously repaired with silicone that failed to adhere, and we're going to patch it up with some G-Flex. G-Flex is our newest epoxy system that we have released through West System. It is a one-to-one, -one higher elongation epoxy that bonds very well to aluminum and wet wood, other dissimilar materials. First step in repairing the aluminum boat is to find the leaks. To do this, fill the boat on the inside up with water up to the water line, and it's best to leave the boat leaning either fore or aft so that you're not filling up the entire boat with water. You could actually cause more damage this way. Step two then involves getting under the boat and looking for leaks at both seams and rivets. When you find them, circle them with a magic marker so you can clearly see the culprits. Rather than crawling around on the ground on my back, I decided to flip the boat over for easier access to the bottom. This step would involve a surface prep around all the leaking rivets uh, with the wire brush just to remove any loose material that might be there and to give some good scratches for the G-Flex to bond to. Step four is to give a good solvent wipe to the surface to remove any contamination that might be left before bonding. Step five is mix up our new product, G-Flex. It's a one-to-one -one system, has a viscosity around honey, and it's a little bit thicker at the temperatures we're working at today in the upper 50s. Working time at these temperatures is gonna be close to an hour once we fill up our 12cc syringe. Step six is the actual repair. You will do one rivet at a time and use a propane torch or other heat source such as that to dry off the surface and force out any water. The next step is to actually apply the G-Flex with a syringe to the heated surface. You will use the heat gun to both get it to flow out get it to stay in any position you might be working overhead and cure a little faster or gel up so you can move on to the next one without drips. It's best to let the G-Flex fully cure before actually doing the water test. Now that depends on how far you've actually cured it with the heat gun. In some cases within an hour you're ready to go back in the water as soon as the repair is done if you fully cured the G-Flex with the heat. Otherwise if you're waiting for it to cure on its own at the ambient temperature, keep it at least 12 hours. Well that's about it for this project. The G-Flex kit really makes small projects like this a snap.